The execution of British Iranian national Ali Reza Akhbari has drawn fierce criticism from the international community. The former deputy Iranian defense minister was arrested in 2019. He was convicted of spying for the UK. Akhbari was sentenced to death on 11th of January. The UK imposed sanctions on Iran's prosecutor general, saying it would hold the regime accountable for its appalling human rights violations. Meanwhile, UK Foreign Secretary James Cleverly said that sanctioning Iran's prosecutor general underlines the country's disgust at Akbari's execution. Going a step further, UK's Foreign Secretary has temporarily withdrawn British, Britain's ambassador to Iran. Iran, on its part, also summoned the British ambassador to protest against what it described as unconventional interventions. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, meanwhile, called Akbari's execution a callous and cowardly act carried out by the regime. Other countries joined the UK in condemning the execution as well. France summoned Iran's top diplomat in Paris, warning that Tehran's repeated violations of international law could not go unanswered. France's foreign ministry condemned the execution in the strongest terms as well while French President Emmanuel Macron denounced the same as a heinous act. As per a State Department spokesperson, the United States was horrified by Akhbari's hanging. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that Washington will continue to hold Iran accountable for its sham trials and politicized execution. News of the execution came hours after the U.S. and U.K. called on Iran to not go ahead with it. Meanwhile, Akbari's family has denied all charges of spying and espionage. One of Akbari's nephews reportedly said that his uncle had moved to the UK with an investment visa and then became a naturalized citizen there. He added that the former deputy defense minister had returned to Tehran from the UK following a request from his former boss, Ali Shamkhani, who is the secretary of the Supreme National Security Council of Iran.